Hello Internet. Today I want to show you a very new platform I discovered myself just one hour ago and it is called Amazon SageMaker Studio Lab. And here you have a free, and this is the important thing, you do not need a credit card for AWS or anything at all. You have here SageMaker Studio Lab free. You can request a free account from AWS. You can watch a nice video giving you some introduction what it is. But I have done this already. We can sign in. And if you sign in, and it took just about some hours before I got permission to sign in, uh, you are greeted with this uh, little presentation. So you have your project, you have time remaining, uh, compute time. So what we have here, we have dive into deep learning. There's some 150 Jupyter notebooks on dive into deep learning. And then you have here AWS Machine Learning University with the notebooks. You have here the Hugging Face notebooks, a blog. So this is free of charge. Just have to give my name and my email, no credit card information, nothing at all. So let's say here, use GPU. Ah, runtime is limited to four hours when using GPU. Okay, so we have GPU with that start runtime. I will stay with you online just to get an idea how long it takes to have your cluster up and running, your project up and running. And let's then have a look. Um, what um, surface we are created with? Ah, time remaining, three hours and 59 minutes. So it was less than half a minute. Stop runtime, no, open project. Let's open up our project and we are greeted with a Jupyter Lab. Yes. Oh, this looks familiar. So what I did, I'm currently working with the deep graph library on graph neural networks. I want to train a deep graph neural network on node prediction. And what I did, I just said, okay, import a file. And I just went to my file and imported a Jupyter notebook normally I use on my Jupyter lab locally here on my uh, notebook on my laptop. Just uploaded it, changed nothing at all. The only thing, of course, because uh, DGL is the deep graph library, we have to import the deep graph library. So we go to the homepage of DGL and we say, okay, we have CUDA cores and I suppose we're running a version 11.3. I um, want to have a Conda environment. I suppose we're running on Linux. Python is 3.9. And then I get simple here my command. So let's go back. Let's say, oops, no, this was not it. No, where am I here? And I just say, wait, where is my console? Ah, here's my console, Python 397, so September, no, this is not what it is. And then we just say conda install, channel DGL team, we install DGL, CUDA 11.3. So let's see what happens if you do this. Yes, solving environment, uh, what? A newer version of conda exists, yes, of course. Conda update, done, all requested. You might need to restart the kernel, kernel, oops, restart and clear console, restart. Great. Say thank you. Are we up and running? Do we have a kernel? Let's check it out. Yep, here we go. You see, I've done nothing at all. So now let's see if our DGL import, yes. Automatically it takes PyTorch. This is great. So this is pre-installed. I did not import PyTorch or TensorFlow, anything at all. This is all done within. We have our graph neural network. Remember Kipf, Thomas Kipf, I showed you the graph convolutional networks. Uh, and we also had a look at the archive uh, publication, the preprint. So what we do now, we import our Quora dataset. 
is just great. So we have our 2,700 nodes. The number of edges is 10K. Number of features, the number of classes. We have seven classes. We want to do a node classification on, you know, some nodes are known, but for some nodes, there is not a classification. And now here, very easily, if we're running now on a GPU version, if you just activate the CPU version, you just go with the first line. If you have, like I have, a GPU version for four hours, so we just say to CUDA, you are familiar with this from working on your local machine, on your local nodes in a Jupyter lab. So let's see. Yes. Hey, well, it works. Great. Let's have a look if we have the features. We have the node features. We have the edge features. This is great. Then the normal definition, we work here with the deep graph library. So we have our graph convolutional networks already defined. So we have our in features, our hidden features, and our second layer is from the hidden features to the number classes to the output class. And of course, we have a nonlinear activation function and I've chosen here ReLU. So this is it. You create a model. Wow, done. This is cool. And then, of course, we want to drain the graph convolutional network on a PyTorch. And we say in the range, yeah, let's go 100 just to have a look if it works at all. We have our backpropagation. Uh, we have our loss defined. This cross entropy is our loss function, of course. Yeah, I think this is all we need. So let's have a look. And again, here for the model, if you define a model, to run on a GPU version, just to CUDA, and this is it, nothing else at all. And you can train your model and wow, this was it. Your graph convolutional network trained on Amazon SageMaker Studio Lab, free of charge, a GPU for four hours, great installation, no problem at all, super smooth installation process. I'm absolutely familiar with the surface here absolutely the same for the libraries the jupyter development team yes you have a github this is great and you have your normal file structure so perfect you just take your jupyter notebooks that you're working with online or if you're working here offline with your local machine you just import it it's up and running this is great pytorch Deep graph libraries for graph neural networks, first time approach, running great, very fast, perfect. Spin up of the cluster, less than less than half a minute. So wow, this is impressive. So if you are familiar with Jupyter Lab at all, this is the perfect Jupyter Lab for you, free of charge. Amazon SageMaker Studio Lab. Great new platform, free of charge. First look, I definitely recommend it. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.